Let's talk about how to beat budget airlines at their own game. If you live in the US like me, then I'm sure you're very aware of airlines like Spirit and Frontier that are budget airlines that allow one free personal item, but make you pay for your carry-on bags. Sometimes that carry-on bag is more expensive than the flight itself when you consider the round trip price. So luckily there are some great bags out there that were literally invented to hack budget airlines. Meaning you can pack in just a personal item for free when flying budget airlines and still pack enough stuff for your entire trip. So today I'm going to be giving you guys my top six tips on how to pack in just a personal item. And then I will be doing a packing example using the brand new Underseat Pro. Some of you guys are familiar with this bag, but they have launched a new version this week. Honestly, these tips are going to be really good for packing a carry-on as well. You're just gonna have to be a little bit more strict with a personal item because it is a little bit smaller. So if you want to pack a personal item only, here are your six tips. We're going to have to have a little chat. Stay tuned to the end of the video where I follow my own tips and pack everything I need in this little bag. And it fits under the seat. My first tip is if you're flying personal item only, you can only bring one bag. I don't know if that's so much of a tip as it is a reminder, but if you are flying personal item only and flying with one free bag, then you can't bring a purse. You can't bring a fanny pack. You can't bring a backpack. It's only the one bag. I've seen people do this all the time and they get caught at the gate and they are forced to pay extra money. You either need to take that purse and put it in that personal item or you have to pay extra. Can you put stuff in your pockets? Of course you can. You could take a whole packing cube and stuff it down your pants if you want to, honestly. I've even seen people pack some clothes in a neck pillow if you wanted to, whatever way you wanna hack it. I personally have done the hack where I have worn a fanny pack under my shirt and it totally worked. Do with that as you will if you get caught not my fault. Just be careful. Number two, you have to limit bulkier items. You just have to. This is a rule that I follow when I pack for every trip I go on anyway. If you have a dress that rolls up this big or if you have a dress that rolls up this small, which one are you going to bring? I know you probably really want to bring this one, but if you're packing in just a personal item, you're going to have to leave it at home and bring the one that's going to roll up smaller. Same thing is going to go with pants or with sweaters or anything like that. If it's bulky, consider something else. If you're really in love with that bulky item and it's honestly a necessity for you to bring on the trip, then just consider wearing it on the plane because you can wear whatever you want on the plane. If you want to be like Joey from Friends when he's wearing all of Chandler's clothes and hop on Spirit Airlines, you do you. It's a little uncomfortable for me for that flight, but I guess you totally could. Tip number three is that you have to leave some of your comforts of home at home. Do you have a 10 step skincare routine that you do every morning and every night? I do too. Am I gonna bring it on my trip? No, I'm gonna bring what's necessary. And then I do have some hacks for packing liquids that you can watch and I'll link it down below. But some of those comforts at home, you guys, you're just gonna have to leave at home. That I think is the biggest problem that people have when packing for a trip, especially if they don't travel often. They think they need to bring every single thing that they have in their daily routine, but you don't have to. All of your jewelry, no. All of your makeup, no. Your blow dryer, no, grab the essentials that you need for the amount of days that you're gone. Saving space, unfortunately, is mandatory if you wanna pack personal item only. I follow these rules for my carry-ons anyway, even if I'm packing for a three week long trip. Otherwise, you're just gonna need a bigger bag. Tip number four is to not pack an extra pair of shoes. Or if you're going to pack an extra pair of shoes, at least pack some that pack up flat. You guys are going to see this example when I pack. And this is really going to upset some of you because the number one reason all of you guys overpack is shoes. I've 
heard it from all of you guys. I do have a blog post on how to pack only two pairs of shoes for any type of trip. No excuses. I've always done it. It is possible. If I were packing for a one week trip, depending on the type of trip it is, I would probably only pack one pair of shoes and wear them on the plane. Could I fit more shoes? Of course. But do I want to pack an extra pair of shoes and take up that space? Not really. Really think about the shoes that you're going to be bringing. Tip number five is to use packing cubes. You guys knew this was coming. Come on now. <laughs> Some of you guys may debate me, but if you've been a fan of this channel for long enough, you know I always use packing cubes. Whether they're packing cubes, whether they're compression cubes, my stuff is always in a packing cube and it is organized. If you don't wanna use it, that's fine. But think about this real quick. You are only bringing one bag. That means you have your clothes, your underwear, your electronics, your wallet, your phone, your toiletries, everything you're gonna put your toiletries in a bag, so just put your clothes in a bag too. If you have to go and find your, you know, iPhone cord and you have to go through 11 pieces of clothing to find it, no, just put them in a packing cube. It's going to save space and it's going to organize you. I promise. Tip number six is our last tip of the day, and that is no surprise to some of you, pack a capsule wardrobe. You guys knew I was gonna say this one too, but it's just so true. This is mind blowing to some of you guys, and this is something I've been doing for many, 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 many years, and I'm about to show you an example. A capsule wardrobe is when all of your tops match all of your bottoms so that you can mix and match to create several outfits. And then I kind of have a little bit of a color scheme. So then my shoes are going to match all of the outfits. My accessories are going to match all of the outfits. Not only am I going to have enough clothes to wear on my trip, but I'm going to have options. Even with my bathing suits, I pack two tops and two bottoms that can be interchangeable so that I have several different options to wear. It just makes sense, you guys. Here is an example of four different bottoms and seven different tops. And as you can see here, it makes 28 different outfits. Am I going to wear all 28 outfits on this trip? Most likely not. But am I going to have a ton of options every morning or every evening when I'm going to get dressed for wherever I may be going on this trip? Yes, and that is the best Part. If you want a more in-depth tutorial as to how to pick out your capsule wardrobe and pack it, I do have a video for that and I will put it in the description down below. All right, it's time to pack. You ready? Let's do it. Everything in the capsule wardrobe is going to go into this medium-sized packing cube, except for what I'm wearing right now. It's part of the capsule wardrobe. I've got the wide leg jeans and I've got the short sleeve sweater. These I will wear on the plane. Everything else I showed you is going to fit in here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So there you have it, our capsule wardrobe in this medium sized packing cube. Now, honestly too, if I'm going somewhere where it's kind of chilly and I need a jacket or I need some sort of sweater or cardigan, I will wear it with this on the plane as well. Now let's get our Underseat Pro foldable bag out and we will start to pack everything in it. Now I do already have some stuff in it because that's what I want to show you guys. This is my smaller packing cube and this has one extra bra, seven pairs of underwear, two pairs of merino wool socks and two bathing suit tops and two bathing suit bottoms. This is a toiletries bag from Trip to Travel Gear and you guys, it has everything and it even hangs. In here, all my makeup. In here, all of my first aid. In here, Q-tips, hair ties, and bobby pins. In here is all of my jewelry I am bringing. And in here is sunglasses, deodorant, a comb for my hair. This thing can fit everything. This is pretty much the only toiletries bag I ever bring anymore. Yes, there are bags that can fit just as much, but it's the organization of this that I love the most. 
Now, this does not have my liquid toiletries in it, obviously, because they have to be in a clear plastic bag. This Underseat Pro bag does come with a really great TSA liquids bag, but I don't really bring a lot of liquids, so I have mine just in a little baggie here. Dry shampoo, sunscreen. This is a contacts case that has some of my skincare in it because you don't need more than a little fingertip dollop for some of your serums or creams. Toothpaste, obviously face wash and moisturizer, and then eye drops. I also have a flat iron because I do like to do my hair to kind of look like this. And then of course I will have a purse. This is just a nice little crossbody purse. Remember how I said we can't bring a purse on with us? It has to go in the bag. I'm going to pick one that packs nice and flat and I'm going to pack it empty because everything that you need in a purse you're going to have in a convenient pocket for when you're at the airport. So I'm gonna go ahead and pack all of that stuff in this area right here and then we'll move on to everything else. Oh, and I almost forgot, I wanna pack a pair of pajamas. Let's throw those in here too. Let's go ahead and put this packing cube right inside. Then I'm going to put my flat iron in and I'm actually gonna put it in between the grooves of the handle of the bag, how it kind of dips down. Perfect spot for a flat iron, always. Then I'm going to do this packing cube and I'm going to do the toiletries bag and then I'm going to do the liquid toiletries right there. And then of course I do have my purse. We have compression. The compression straps are removable. I'm going to compress it down. And you know what? Just for you guys, I'm gonna pack an extra pair of shoes, okay? There. As for this side, we have what I like to refer to as my little office. Now I could totally pack an electronics bag if I wanted to, but that's gonna take up a little bit too much space. And this bag here has a lot of amazing pockets. So I have my wireless charger, I have my block, I have my cords all in here. And then here, you know, I can pack pens, I can pack something in here, but I have my portable charger right here. And then if you're a workaholic like I am, there's room for my laptop. Yes. Do you have to travel with a laptop? No. Do I always? Yes. Because of this channel. As for the important items such as your passport, your phone, and your wallet, there's a pocket for that. Check this out. Boom. Passport. Phone. Wallet. We did it guys. I don't think I sacrificed that much stuff. I mean, honestly, a whole capsule wardrobe, two pairs of shoes, toiletries, jewelry, makeup, liquid toiletries, a purse. I'm good for a while. I really, really am. Do you guys think that you could pack personal item only? I mean, a bag like this definitely helps. If you're interested in this bag, it will be linked in the description box as well as a lot of the other stuff that I showed in this video. But on Saturday, I will be doing a full review of this bag because it is the newer version of the Underseat Pro. I have reviewed the original version of the Underseat Pro, but they've made a few changes, including having this nice little crossbody strap. So you could carry it like this if you don't want to wheel it around for whatever reason. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I really hope this helped. If you have any questions, please comment down below and I will be happy to answer. And of course, make sure you are subscribed to this channel and follow us on Instagram for tons of tips and tricks on how to travel often and pack well, like I do. Thanks guys, I'll see you next time. Bye.